Boom shakalaka. What's going on guys? Randall here from Crypto Love and today we are talking about cash. Now this is a cryptocurrency that is under the radar for a lot of people, but it does have the potential to be a pretty large cryptocurrency. So we're going to talk about that. Before we do, just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing. Thank you for mashing on the like button. And guys, if you want to find out how to receive potentially up to $300 of free cash, stay tuned till the end of this. So to begin with, this is Cash's website. It's talking about liquid by coin. Notice how they put Qs and everything. That's kind of their brand name, their branding. Well, the Cash token, all right, right now is an ERC-20 token, circulating supply of 350 million of a billion total cash. The market cap right now is $320 million, uh, trading about 91 cents. And you can find it on all these different markets right now. Huobi, Coin, Ethfinex, Cryptos, Gate.io, uh, and a few others. Now, the Coin and the Cryptos exchanges, those are both exchanges that are already being used that uh, basically have been started by the company that runs cash. Uh, one is a Japanese exchange. One is more of a cryptocurrency exchange. But taking a look at the price of this overall, back in January during the height of the altcoin bubble, the price was 237. It's come down quite a bit, hit a low of 45 cents, and now price is up to 90 cents. Just recently, it jumped today. Um, about some speculation about the World Book coming out. We'll talk about the World Book in a second. But taking a look through the website, what Cash is doing and what their whole platform is aimed to do is provide liquidity to the cryptocurrency market. Now, what liquidity is, for those of you who don't know, that's just more money uh, in the market, in the exchanges. So right now we have a bunch of different exchanges. We have Binance Exchange, we have Bittrex, we have Bitfinex, and they have a certain amount of liquidity in the exchange, which is the amount of tokens held in the exchange, the amounts you can trade. But if you go to a smaller exchange or you want to trade a token that doesn't have as high of a market cap, there's not as much liquidity. So the price, the prices will be very different. Uh, also, it may take, uh, you know, you may have to wait longer to get your, your transactions processed, all types of things like that. So with liquidity in markets, you're able to uh, trade more. Also, the prices are more even. Um, also, for people who do like to day trade, it allows you to do that because where there's not where there's not a lot of liquidity, the price doesn't move very much. But where there is a lot of liquidity, the price moves a lot. So then if you want to trade a lot, you could potentially make a lot, you could potentially lose a lot. So uh, they talk about their token sale up there, which ended in November. But if you want to take a look at how it works, so they're aiming to bring together all of the world's monies. So the fiat currencies, so we have the dollar, the pound, the yuan, the euro, all different things like that, but they also want to bring together all the cryptocurrencies. And this image right here basically shows it all going on. So this world book uh, matching with the prime exchange, that is their main platform, which is coming out called Liquid. Right now it's in a beta. So they have the world book beta running in the background on the cryptos exchange. So you can't actually use it, interact with it, but they're running, trying to get the kinks out, make sure it's working. There are some things about this that make it pretty interesting. One, it's bringing together everything. So it's bringing together all types of fiat currencies, all types of cryptocurrencies, all types of different exchanges, uh, banks, regulators, things like that. And this is going to allow, by, by bringing all of this together, think of this as like banking interoperability or exchange interoperability. So this is going to enable uh, institutional investors to enter the market more easily without greatly affecting the price. Because if someone wants to dump like, you know, $10 billion into a rank 50th cryptocurrency, that could drastically affect the price on one exchange. But if that's put out among all the different exchanges, then it may not uh, affect the price that drastically. For this World Book Exchange, they have a matching engine. Um, now, it's an off-chain matching engine because this is running on Ethereum. Obviously, it couldn't run that fast. They do have plans to release their own uh, blockchain, but that's way into the future. But their matching engine is capable of several million transactions per second right now. So it's very, very fast. Uh, also, they have the smart order routing. So not only uh, does, this, does this World Book look for matching pairs in their world book or any exchanges that they may be partners with, but it also looks for it externally on any other exchanges where those pairs may be available. So basically this is bringing liquid, this is 
bring together every single exchange out there in order to make it the most liquid market for cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. Now they talk about how they're going to be more successful because they're already a, a working business, but what I really think is going to help their success is their team. If we take a look down here, we have their team. So Mike is the co-founder and CEO. He's worked for, he was uh, the senior vice president at SoftBank Group, which is one of uh, Asia's biggest banks, all right? Also, there's Mario, who worked for, um, he was the CTO of Merrill Lynch. So again, they have some financial industry stuff. Katsuya spent eight years at SoftBank. So again, more banking industries. 30 years in risk management, finance, things like that. And uh, so we have a whole bunch of people who are involved in banking, but the real power behind the team, so we like strong teams, but we also like strong advisors. They have Masaki Tanaka, which is the senior global advisor to PricewaterhouseCooper. So that's a huge financial company. He's one of the advisors. All right. Also, the former uh, senior vice president of SoftBank Group, so more banking advisors. Uh, Paul Kuo, an investor and the former chairman of the International Bankers Association. Uh, the former deputy head of global government relations for PayPal and former vice president for Visa. So a whole bunch of very big people involved in this. Additionally, they have... Japanese billionaires, uh, like elusive billionaire Taizo's son, uh, perhaps known as the brother of SoftBank CEO Mas Masayoshi's son, Japan's richest man, he's investing in coin. So they have a lot of backing from very influential people because they believe this could potentially be the new way for um, institutional investors to get into cryptocurrency. Now, if we take a look at the roadmap that they have going on, They've had coin around for a while and also coin exchange, CoinX, all right? And so they've been developing there. They launched cryptos in 2017. So coin is a fiat and also a crypto exchange, mostly in Japan. Cryptos is an international crypto exchange. And then they had their token sale back in November of 2017. Now the big thing is their uh, the Liquid World Book beta, which is running in the background of crypto. So you can't actually see it, but they're running, making sure it works. The big thing coming up that everyone's looking forward to is the official coin liquid launch because this is going to be their huge platform that they're going to have out there to uh, bring together everything. Now, when that launch is going to happen, no one really knows, but they have it here Q2 of 2018. Whether that changes or not, we don't actually know. And as you can see in the future, I mentioned they had a cash blockchain here and then full banking license potentially in 2019. As I mentioned, they have a couple exchanges, Cryptos and also CoinEx that are already available. And they have a little bit more information about the company. All right. So there's even more information in the white paper. It's a pretty long one, 70 pages, but it's an easy read. So you can go through there, get a bit more information about there. But this is one that does have the potential to be pretty large. So right now, $320 million market cap. This is one that's aiming to be the exchange for cryptocurrencies fiat all that all those different things so and potentially bring together banking institutions things like that so if we compare it to other things that could do that things like ripple things like stellar things like binance we're looking anywhere between one and 33 billion dollars in terms of market cap right now it's got a 300 million dollar market cap so it could potentially even go up a hundred times if the overall market cap stays where it is if that would happen you know, 100x gain on cash, that's a pretty good return. So what you can do if you'd like to is uh, if you sign up for an exchange on either for an account on either cryptos or coin, you can actually get three cash for free by using the referral code down in the description. So if you sign up for that, you get three cash free, I get three cash free. And if you hold on to those cash in there, if you don't use them, that could potentially uh, 100x. So that could be worth $300 in the future for doing nothing more than signing up for an exchange. However, um, if you did want to use those cash, the cash are used kind of as a gas powering the ecosystem. So those are used to give people discounts on trades, a 5% discount on trades within any of their exchanges. So 
that overall is a review of cash. I think this one could potentially do pretty well in the future. It has the backing of some pretty serious people. They have a very ambitious idea, very ambitious goal. Um, it'll just be see, you know, if and when that happens. So thank you for watching that review. I hope you enjoyed it, and then I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.